Hello, hello everybody. Um, wow, it's been a long time uh, that I've done some free artwork, so today we're going to try that again. Um, so what is today's theme? Uh, my grandma sent over some really nice art books. I don't actually know how old they are. Like, uh, is there a number on here? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, um, yeah, but just like very old drawing books. And uh, one of the images in there is this one. Um, but I want to take as inspiration for uh, some low poly artwork. Um, like there are so many other amazing images in there. Like I, I really want to work through a lot of them. They are, I don't know. It looks so different than uh, what I generally use for concept art and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's it's amazing. I want to try it. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this landscape and a couple of trees, the houses in the background. Um, what I really want to try that is new is like the shape of this tree and the tree back here, like. Those are shapes I never tried. Um, then I also have like a lot of red in here, like mixing red, green, blue, yellow, like that will be interesting. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I hope you're hooked now on uh, the premise. <laughs> Sorry, Hedgehog. Yeah, it's it's very late for American time, but it's like a morning stream for me, so um, I'm really sorry. Also, let me open a uh, Discord quickly so I can uh, get this out of here, uh, so I can post it. But yeah, meanwhile, we can keep looking at the image and uh, thinking how we're going to do it. I think we, uh, doing the landscape first will really be the best option. Then like having a separate mesh for the mountains. The clouds will also be difficult because you can see they are very, very big. Uh, and I don't really know like how we're going to shape them. So yeah, we still have some uh, challenges ahead. Um, okay. So let me post this very quickly. Sorry for all the YouTube watchers because yeah, <laughs> streams, <laughs> um, I never cut them. So uh, pff, sorry, 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 sorry. Almost ready. Streams. There we go. Okay, let's close this. Sorry, Hedgehog, but I mean, you can watch it tomorrow, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so creating this landscape on its own will be very difficult, I think, because it has such a weird shape. Just position the image in front of me. So I can... <laughs> I'm not perfectly prepared today because it's. I just woke up and I thought. Let's do some artwork, <laughs> which is awesome, of course, but uh, yeah. No, no, one hour won't suffice for this. I, I think like three to five hours or something. And then I don't know if I'm going to get food in between or <laughs> I don't know. I'm not prepared, man. It's yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing here is um, a technique I, I developed recently, which is I am just scaling and rotating with the proportional editing tool. And after that, we can decimate it. Which we can't see, which sucks, but 
you see it just creates like a interesting random structure that we can use for our work. So let's say like here's a river or something. It's actually a pretty nice curve on the image, so we should try to smooth it later. Let's assign materials so that we don't need to reselect it every time. Uh, so there's like a greenish grass. I don't know. Like the colors are very strong on the image. Not sure how well this will work. Grass, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So let's smooth this a little bit. I'm doing that by hand, just because I can't think of a technique that does it a lot faster right now. There might be one, but like until I, I thought of it, I'm done anyway, so. Okay. Yeah, this is really nice. So, let's try and make this. And this sucks, so let's just remove the edge and try and write it new. And there we go. Oh, even try and write it correctly. Oh, by the way, if you if you hear the uh, construction work that is going on, I'm sorry for that, but like I can't avoid it. <laughs> it yeah. So I also want a small island peak here. Yeah, handcrafted terrain. That's the good old stuff. Uh, oh, by the way, I can enable screencast keys, right? Because you guys generally enjoy that. Don't have screencast keys in here. Oh, let me look at that very quickly. Screencast. What is screencast? Huh. Oh no, I want to go to uh, Elons. There we go. Screencast keys. Enable this. Start display. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I'm going to teach you all the uh, the Blender sh sh shortcuts. There are shortcuts in Blender. Nobody told me. <laughs> no. Um. So how high is the camera? The camera is pretty low. So like something like this and then we reverse in a lot further than this so mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, seems good to me. And then put in 
the river. Stuff like uh, a raised area over here. Why does all the scale doesn't work? Oh, that scale does, of course. Okay. Also, I think we can rise a bit more. Tilt it in the region. Also, let's save this because we don't want to lose it. Uh, this is like an uh, art book. I can remember that. Okay. Um, I mainly want to use extrusion to make this stand out a bit. Also some irregularities. And then there's a pathway going way back there. So uh, we probably need to extend this a little bit. So applying the same technique. Well, that was too much. Just moving it around. And then you can select it. And because we can't add the modifier right now, we can use move duplicates. Uh, remove doubles, no, that one, uh, which does the same if you use the slider over here and tweak it a little bit. Of course, it also collapses based on distance, so it's no different at all. That way, you can collide it, and then I'm triangulating it. What I also want to do is I want to scale it a bit back here so that it doesn't leave the view first from our camera. Awesome. Like this is very hacky, I think, but uh, it works, so whatever. So then we have an area over here that is elevated. Also, uh, oh, never mind. Just select a color of them, make it a bit more random. Yep. 
I also want to have a slope here that like leads upper. So we can rotate it, move it down. You can see how this creates a slope like shape. There you go. Pro tips with Mezaka. Okay, 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 um, there we go, nice, oh, it should be higher over here. Awesome. Now let's actually think about scale a little bit. Um, we can uh, look in the items for a human mid dog. Maybe Regify has it. Let's enable Regify. Basic, human, metric. So this is my scale human. I think should it be like this? Yeah, seems good. Okay. So I want some uh, composition guides, I want reverts, so yeah, there you go, like, that's exactly what I wanted. Then I want a pathway over here. going to be a little bit weird. Yeah, pretty much like this. Let's give the materials actual names. Uh, it's uh, it sucks that the glossy one doesn't. Oh, it's O. No, it's L. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, like the glossy shortcut used to be B and G, like different in the node editor and in this editor. Now it's just L. I can never like remember all of these. Um, so uh, let's give this a yellowish material. I think this one will need some clever material design at the end, but we will get to that a bit later. Because I do have some ideas, but uh, 
Oh, pro tip, if you, um, yeah, now it works. Wait, wait a second. Ah, oh, crap, I can't show you, because it works every time. Like if you scroll over here and um, like hover over here, hit control and then scroll, then you can like skip programs. That's super cool. And you don't need to use a mouse click uh, because mouse clicks take too much time. Don't use your mouse. Except uh, if it's like beneficial. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. You see? Now you can scroll through it. Okay, so I want to block out some basic stuff. So I will just use icospheres. Don't use icospheres in the end. I generally don't like them. But for blocking out, sure. Why not? Just want to see the composition. Like red is going to be the small tree over there. And we do have some trees back here. And a big one in the center. Where were you? Like, have a look at the image again because I can see it, but you can't see it. So, like, what I'm blocking out is the trees over here right now. Yep. <laughs> also, over here, there's like a hole. So, you can try to emulate that. Yeah. And then there are the barns, which are, let's get down to human scale. This should be way back here. No, they are still way too big. Also, these trees are occupying too much space. These should be somewhere back there. Change the camera clipping.
Hej. the chair back where but that's fine do I want this to be moved down a little with the sharp one Okay, uh, I don't know. Guess we can also adjust this a little.
rotate. Let's run our race. Let's do a first test run there and see. Whew. I think this is difficult, but definitely doable. Or something that is a little bit weird, but as long as it doesn't interfere, I don't mind. I already like the colors very much like this. Like having the color scheme as reference. It's awesome. Uh, no, this one needs to be different. It's like more orangish, not darker, not too orangish. Also, let's do these colors. I mean, look at this. That's awesome. Also, make these red.
think this is the first time that I'm building that stuff actually to scale, which is cool, but just get the smooth one. Been a lot of uh, I've been a lot. I've been, yeah, <laughs> I've been hiking a lot lately uh, in the Alps, which is awesome. I'm studying in Munich, so um, I do have the opportunity to go hiking here very frequently, and I haven't used it up until now. Which was a bad idea, um, but right now I'm enjoying it very much. So I'm getting more adjusted to how mountains look like. I think just back home where I was born, we didn't have a lot of mountains, so. nice to make use of that advantage now. Oh, also, good night, Hedgehog. You're probably already gone, but I, I didn't see your message. Goodbye. Oh, caustics, right. Mm. Let's disable those. Let's get uh, some meta boards into the game for the clouds back here. Like really, really big meta boards. Like you can look uh, up what I'm doing here in my uh, tutorial on the trees. I think it pretty much contained all my meta ball techniques.
let's try uh, some material design now, like to mix it up. Uh, color mix RGB. By the way, always mix your colors. Don't mix your diffuse shaders. It's um, a lot more performant. Can use Fresnel, right? Yeah. Well, let's use this and get a curve to maybe change it a bit. Let's see how this renders. That does look interesting. Hey, Jen, Jen Sile, I guess. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I pretty much like that. So let's uh, name our materials because and um, um, for now. Like the idea behind this is to fake the sunlight a little bit. But we'll see how well that works. Do, 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 do. By the way, for everyone who is new, uh, we're creating this little image. Also posted it on Twitter, I think. Oh, I didn't set up my tweet. No. Well, no, no, it's there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I found this in an artbook uh, from 
grandma. Like my grandma sent all of these awesome artworks and uh, this was in work. So trying to replicate or to create something similar to this, I guess. Like pretty similar. I'm just working on it pretty randomly. So I'm just doing what I think is best at any given moment. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, now it also has this on here. Um, this shouldn't be mounted for it now, but. Oh, the old one doesn't exist. Okay. No, it does. We can also give this one up for now to clouds. I think that's a good idea. Like green is your front facing one, so that's white. The other one should be sky colored. Let's see how that looks. That looks interesting, but don't think I like it that much. I can smooth out the curve a little bit. Whew. Okay.
Again, tricky with colors. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We can we can do that even more in the end. Probably. I mean, we never can achieve this painterly look, um, but. And get a bit closer to it. The yellow is still tricky mesh. Okay, I'm, I'm done with the landscape for now. Let's work a little bit on the trees. Uh, we want to start with the background trees. Yeah, I guess.
Let's use a color ramp instead so we can mix in more of two colors. We could also do this. Uh, these blind bees here. Let's try this. Is that Pac-Man in the middle of the picture? Yeah, that is Pac-Man. No, not actually. It's a placeholder for a tree. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh yeah, I think the trees on the left hand side are pretty good. Um <laughs> I also want to try to get a color ramp in there. Um maybe we can even make all materials in this image like based on on a color ramp. It would be actually pretty interesting, so I don't know. Not sure if you're going to do it, but
anymore. This is this is weird. <laughs> like really weird. But Yeah, let's run it. <laughs> No, uh, no, it's not a Barbaros painting. Um, like this is the painting. Could be a Barbaros painting, like uh, from the design, but it's from uh, Eugene M. Frenzen. I think it is from an artbook that my uh, grandma sent me. Okay, let's do something different for the factor here. Um, we can use an input no, normal or a texture mapping input. With that, we can add some backlighting from the back right, which is awesome. Look at it, you know, it's instantly awesome. <laughs> oh, we could also do this. No, I will do both manually. I would love to get like a random number per face. Oh, you know what we could do is. Yeah, that is awesome. Um, Okay. So here we can just mm -hmm. might just color let's first run of this before we do anything else. This is shader magic, my friend. Shader magic. No, I don't like. Oh, let me save that song. Uh, Yeah, but I want I, I want this random number for the um for the green over here. Color ramp. Yes, please.
Okay, let's get input. Where was that? Texture coordinate? No. Yeah, yeah. It was texture coordinate. What is window? Well, let's go to vector. No, no. What is window? Just play. Okay. And we could also use the UVs to shuffle it. I think. Reflection also seems nice. Um. Look at this shader. Wow, that is weird. Um, but no, never mind. I don't like it. So Good study as it is. So a lot of trees to do. Um, But I will change the clouds first because <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, Let's see how this looks. It's going to be a pretty weird image, but...
Okay, let's make progress and not keep treating stuff all the time. Um, yeah, let's do the pack man tree. Okay, nice.
Okay, uh, I think we got another tree. That's nice. Let's work on the water a little bit here. This doesn't work anyways. Let's just try this. I'm not sure that like making it fully reflective is the right way to go. I want it to look pretty diffuse, I think. But let's just test a couple of values. Let's let's just fake it. Why not?
Okay. I think I'm going to take a lunch break. Uh, here. Because, I don't know, I get tired and less motivated, so. I love how the mountain changes its colors when I move around. It is so weird and cool. But yeah. Um, okay. Hope you enjoyed it this far and we will continue after the break. We can hopefully finish the image. I still have a lot of problems with it and I think we need to fix a lot. But like overall, might become a good image. We could even change the ratio a bit. Yeah, oh, the image has a different ratio. Well, never mind. Um, well, see you uh, in a second. Bye.